All right, so here we have a uh, RCX H1304 5000 kV motor. This was sent in by my RC Mart for test. Uh, so thanks my RC Mart uh, for sending it uh, so I can test it and share the results uh, with you guys. Uh, so thanks a lot my RC Mart. So this one is a pretty interesting motor. A lot of people are using this one as opposed to using the 1104 to 1106 uh, size motors. Many of them have told me that uh, they they like how the motor performs on 3S and they've been using kind of a slightly medium sized propellers like the King Kong 2840x3. Uh, they say that uh, prop matches pretty well with this motor. You can also use the slightly larger Gen Fan 30 25 by 2 should uh, should go well with this motor as well typical RCX type of motor it's supposed to be made out of uh, 775 aluminum and uh, pretty well made motor let's uh, pull it apart so as you can see the uh, two millimeter shaft so that has a slight advantage over some of the 1104 through 1106 which use 1.5 millimeters, so so that's a slightly uh, slightly larger diameter shaft, so it should be stronger. And a good thing on this motor is that they use a grub screw on the shaft, so this one should not suffer from the shaft backing out when you're when you're installing the props. Like in the 1105-1106 motors, uh, a lot of times the props fit uh, pretty tight. So when you press the prop in, it starts to press the shaft uh, out, uh, downwards. So then you end up with a vertical play on the motor. But that can be easily solved on the 1106 uh, size motors, as I've shown in the past. Uh, this was a tip from a YouTube viewer. You can use a 1 uh, drill bit and just drill out the, the middle hole. That way it doesn't, it doesn't go in tight. Anyways, those are, that's for the 1104, 1106 motors. Uh, this one doesn't suffer from that. Uh, so you can see, pretty, pretty well made motor. Plenty of uh, epoxy on the magnets. Those shouldn't go any place. And it looks like it should be pretty strong too. Pretty durable, as you can see. Fairly nice and thick uh, for this size motor ring. Again, as I said, the shaft is two millimeter and uh, pretty nicely packaged uh, stator, uh, nice windings and uh, there's a base, a uh, standard base with the same pattern as the 1106 uh, size motors. Uh, so the motor comes with a hundred and about 120 millimeters worth of uh, wire. This is 26 gauge wire, so pretty thin. Uh, so I'll measure with that length of wire. It's about 8.6 grams. Uh, so if you cut it to about 50 millimeters, you you decrease the weight by about point uh, around point seven. I measured uh, I measure what the what the wire weighs per unit. So it's about 0.7 grams if you cut out uh, the excess wire. So it's about 7.9 grams uh, overall for the motor. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, pretty pretty good weight for the uh, micro class of uh, quads. So okay, uh, let's uh, let's get it on the thrust stand.
All right, here are the test results for the RCX H1304-5000 KV. Uh, the motor measure at a slightly lower KV, 4920, but uh, it's all good. Uh, very typical of all motors to measure either slightly lower or slightly higher KV, so that's perfectly okay. Uh, so I went ahead and tested the motor on 3S and 4S, as you saw. A pretty good performance from this motor, uh, kind of a different size uh, from the 1104, 1105, 1106 size motors. So this is the 1304, it's like a 1306 cut by 2 millimeters. So as I mentioned on the teardown, it's got a, a few advantages over the 11 class motors. Especially on the shaft, as you saw, it's got a grub uh, a screw so that there's, no gonna be, there's not going to be issues with the shaft slipping, you know, moving up or down that would create a vertical play on the motor uh, also the shaft is two millimeters so it's going to be slightly uh, it's going to be a, a tougher shaft should be a pretty strong motor and as far as weight is only i think only very slightly heavier than the 11 size motors but not by much uh, so pretty much the same because of the kv it seems that this motor would be best uh, for high performance uh, on 4s it'll match well with 4s and and pretty much all these props that I tested uh, uh, from 2 to 3 inches, uh, this motor should be able to run all these props. Uh, one thing I'm noticing and I want to mention, uh, again I might have mentioned it before, is that uh, these high pitch and larger props, starting with the King Kong 2840 uh, and also including the DYS 3045, and GF3035 at this scale it seems that these motors kind of get a little bit overwhelmed by the pitch by the size of the of the props uh, so on the top end as you throttle up to 100% throttle you could hear the motor kind of like uh, giving up the top end uh, it kind of gets uh, overloaded so they they do get a little bit hot and so the, the thrust starts to decrease that's just on the static thrust uh, so that's why these props uh, they don't show all their potential on the on the static thrust, but when you're flying them, a lot of people are reporting, for instance, that this 2848 is performing really well, and also a lot of people are using this this DYS 3045 by three with very good results, even though it's not showing here on the thrust stand that it's uh, better than these other two blade props, but in actual flight is it's doing pretty well. I, I think the main reason is that uh, these props are able to make uh, thrust from the low to mid R RPM so they're going to be making plenty of thrust and because the props are unloaded in flight and as you're flying fast the higher pitch is actually much better as you're flying fast and spinning at high RPM you, you actually do want a slightly higher pitch so that's why these props are able to to run uh, quite better so so th these are some to try you know like you can try them just make sure the motor doesn't run hot uh, check your temps and uh, you should be all good to go uh, one interesting comparison would be to compare it to the an 1106 of the similar of similar kv so the only one i have tested would be the Emax 1106 uh, 4500 kV. So not not quite the same kV, but it, it should be for an interesting comparison. So let me put them side by side and see what that looks like. All right, so here are the two motors side by side, 1106 on the left, 1304 on the right. Quite interesting to see the results. Uh, they're pretty much identical, uh, even though the kV is slightly higher on the 1304 but considering you know the different uh, configurations the different stator size it, they're pretty much similar i would say they're almost identical if you compare all the props they're pretty much the same every prop is like pretty much i i would say almost identical i mean it's only a few grams that the 1304 is doing a little bit better but we can uh, attribute that to the higher kv as you see uh, it is getting just slightly higher uh, thrust but also using a slightly higher amps so that's due to the higher kv even when we go to the uh, the bigger props like the 3025 by 2 and the 3035 by 3 as you can see very very close pretty much with within 10 grams of each other and within one amp so very interesting uh, comparison here, 11, uh, 1106 4500 or 1304 5000, you pretty much get the same performance out of a 4S uh, LiPo. Uh, so there you go, that's the uh, 
comparison for these two motors and that's the thrust test for the 1304 hope you find this data useful and uh, until the next video there's still more motors to be tested uh, 1108s uh, 1404s 1402s lots of motors so stay tuned